okay, my pupils, Mr. Edward here, I will come back, and thanks for watching to Mining TV. This is the best channel in the world. So today, I want us to continue with our subject, our favorite subject, that is science. And today, I want us to talk about plants. So we start down there from class four work. That is for the 844 system. So we, we know that for those who are in class five, six, seven, and eight, there's a topic that they covered in class four. So I want us to revise it. And I want us to start by talking about crops. So you know all about crops. I just want to see whether you can call those things that you are taught by your teachers in class four. So crops, these are plants that are grown, and they are grown by farmers. And to start with, you know that crops are classified or divided into two. Yes. So can you recall the two groups of crops? Are good. So we have food crops and we have cash crops. So I have written for you on the board. So crops are divided into two. We have food crops and we have cash crops. So those are the two groups of crops. Somebody might ask you the difference between food crops and cash crops. It is very simple. Food crops, these are the crops that are grown for food. They are grown to provide us with food. These are crops that are grown to provide us with food. Then cash crops, these are crops that are grown for sale. We grow them to sell them. When we sell them, we earn money or we get money. So that is the difference between the two food crops and cash crops. So from here, I want us to talk about food crops. We look at some examples of food crops. And to make it easier, we will group our food crops. So food crops are grouped into five groups. So we have five groups of food groups. And these five groups are cereals. We have cereals, that is group number one. Number two, we have legumes. We have legumes. Number three, we have tubers. Number four, we have fruits. Number five, we have vegetables. Those are the five groups of food crops. Remember, we have said that mostly these food crops are grown to provide us with food. So I want us to give examples of each so that we'd be in a position to know which is which. So let us start with cereals. So I want us to give out examples of cereals so that we'd be in a position to be knowing what cereals are. So number one is maize. You all know maize. Yes, I know you know maize and the products that we get from maize. There's products like, yes, the maize flour or the maize flour. Some of you call it flour. Yes, we have popcorns. Good. We have ugari. We get ugari from maize flour, which comes from maize. Yes, such things. You can also make porridge. Yes, from maize flour. Those are cereals. Cereals number two, we have wheat. Yes, we have wheat. Yes, those are examples of the things that I'm talking about. That is wheat, and that is wheat plantation. That is how it looks when it is in the shamba. Yes, I know you have never seen it. Yes, that is how wheat is harvested. Yes, that is a, we call it a combined harvester. It harvests wheat. Good. We have some products that we get from wheat. So we like them very much. They are very sweet. Yes, things like cakes. My favorite, chapati. Yes, I like chapatis. When you invite me there, yes, you can eat apple maketi. Make sure you provide me with some chapatis. At least five. Five will be 
enough for me. Yes, chapatis, we have biscuits. Yes, we have such things. They come from wheat. Then we have rice. Rice is another cereal. Good, that is rice. Yes, rice is grown in areas that are flooded. It needs a lot of water. Yes, that is rice plantation. Yes, and that is how rice looks like. Another example of cereal is sorghum. Yes, sorghum, that is sorghum. Yes, that is sorghum plantation. I know you have never seen it. Most of you have never seen it. Yes. Mostly it can be used to make fra that cooks porridge. Good. Another good example is millet. Millet is almost similar to sorghum. Yes, that is another good example of cereal. Another example is barley. Yes, barley. Yes, that is barley plantation. Barley is used in brewing industries. Yes, that is barley. So those are a few good examples of cereals. So once you are asked to name some cereals, talk about things like maize, rice, wheat, sorghum, millet, barley, etc. So mostly, when you look at them, they provide us with flour or flour. So those are cereals. So that is the first group of food crops. I know you have seen the pictures that I have displayed on your screen. Yes, and I know that you have a lot of cereals in your houses. Good. From there, we have legumes. Legumes is another group of of food crops. Yes. So I want us to name some examples of legumes. Yes, I've heard some of you murmuring some examples of legumes. That is good. So a good example is bean. Beans are examples of legumes. So you have different varieties of beans, as you can see on your screen. Yes, those are beans. And I know because you have never seen beans in the shamba, I'm a good teacher. I want to show you. So look at your screen. Yes, those are beans. That is how they look like when they're in the shamba. Yes. Yes, those are beans. Good. Then the next one, we have peas. Yes, we have peas. Good. Those are peas. Yes, the ones that are on your screen are peas. That is how they look like when they're in the shamba. Yes, those are peas. Some of you think that some of these things are manufactured in factories because they have never gone into a shamba. No, no, no. They are grown in shambas, like the ones that you're seeing on your screen. Good. Another good example of legumes, we have soya beans. Yes, soya beans. Yes, those are soya beans on your screen. They are very sweet. We have French beans. Yes, French beans are also legumes. Yes, those are French beans on your screen. Yes, we have green grams. We have green grams. Good. These are green grams. Yes, I like them. These are my favorite. Yes. Another one, we have ground nuts. We have ground nuts. Good. Those are good. Uh, those are enough examples of legumes. After this, make sure you add 10 more examples of legumes. Refer to your books, and I know you get more than 10 examples of legumes. Make sure you write them down to make or to be going through them at your own time. Then from there, there are other group of food crops. We call them tubers. Yes, they are known as tubers. Tubers are crops that we mostly eat their swollen roots or their modified stems. 
Yes, they are known as tubers. As we move ahead, I'll group tubers later. But for now, just know that we have tubers. Yes, we eat their swollen roots or their modified stems. So a good example of tuber, the one that I like, are known as arrow roots. Arrow roots, we call them doma. Yes, doma, they are known as arrow roots. Yes, good. Those are arrow roots. Yes, look at them. That is how they look like when they're in the shamba. Yes, you uproot and take out the, the, the sorin roots. Yes, those are our roots. We have sweet potatoes. Yes, those are sweet potatoes. Then this is how they look like when they're in the shamba. The upper part of the sweet potatoes is known as vines. So these are what we call the sweet potato vines. Sweet potatoes vines look like that. They spread in the shamba. Yes, good. And mostly they can be used as cover crops to prevent soil erosion. So if you have a shamba, you can use sweet potatoes because they are vines spread in the shamba. They can be used to control soil erosion. So whenever you hear somebody talking about cover crops, it's a good example of cover crop. Then we have yams. Yes, yams are also nice and very nutritious. Yes, that is how they look like. Good. Most three yams, we say that they are stem tubers. We eat their, so their modified stems. Good. Another good example is Irish potatoes. Irish potatoes, in Kiswahili, vinaito viazi mbatata, viazi mbatata, mbatata. Yes, we also eat their modified stems. Yes, they are also stem tubers. Irish potatoes are also stem tubers. Good, that is how they look like in the shamba. Those are Irish potatoes. I know you like their products, things like chips, crisps, yes, and many other things like bajia. Good. Another good example of tubers, we have arrow roots. Yes, we have cassava. That is how cassava looks like. Good. Those are a few examples of tubers. I know you have mastered some of the examples. So I want you to add some more examples, like five, and make sure you remind yourselves about those examples. Good. From there, the next group of food crops, we have fruits. You all know fruits. I know today you have taken one fruit. We normally say that a fruit a day keeps the doctor away. Yes, fruits are very important in our lives. They boost our immunity. If you want to be healthy, if you don't want to fall sick now and then, make sure that you become a friend of fruits. When you become a friend of fruits, it will boost your immunity. Germs will be running away from you. Yes, so a fruit a day keeps the doctor away. That is our, our proverb, our scientists. We normally encourage people to eat a lot of fruits. So make sure you take fruits every day. And because I know that you have taken a fruit today, yes, what are I know some of you eating fruits? Good, that is good. So can you tell me some of the fruits that you have taken today? Ah, I've seen some of you talking about them. So we have millions and millions of fruits. So I just mention a few, then the others you add. So a good example of a fruit is a watermelon. Yes, my favorite. Yes, that is a watermelon. That is how it looks when it is in the shamba. Remember, crops are not manufactured in industries. 
they are grown in chambers. Yes, that is how it looks like. Yes, that is a watermelon. Then you cut it in pieces and you enjoy yourself. Now, you can be able to pick one from your screen, just do it. screen mom. Good. From there, another good example of a fruit we have mangoes. Yes, we have mangoes. Mangoes are full of fiber. Yes, they have those thread like structures that are very important. Yes, we have oranges. Yes, those are oranges. Good, those are oranges. We have lemons. We have lemons. Yes, lemons are very nutritious and very important when it comes to health matters. Sometimes make sure you add some drops of lemon in your water when drinking. It's good. Those are lemons. We have guavas. We have guavas. We have thorn apples. Yes, those are thorn apples. Good. We have apples. Most of you like apples. Yes, those are apples. Yes, those are also fruits, very sweet. Yes, another fruits like the ones that are on your screen. Yes, those are just but few examples of fruits that we have. Good. So I know you'll be able to add many other examples of fruits. So make sure you do that. Yes, the last group of food crops that we have are known as vegetables. Vegetables are also very important in our health. They protect us against diseases. They are also protective foods, just like fruits. And they help to add vitamins and mineral salts in our bodies. So examples of vegetables that we have the very common one that we have in our vibandas, yes, they are known as kumawikis, yes, kumawiki or kales. Yes, that is how they look like in the shamba. You know, you are used to them when they are in the kibanda. Yes, that is how they look like. Yes, those are kales. Yes, that is a good one. Those are kales. Yes. Good. Then we have spinach. Spinach. Yes, those are spinach. We have cabbages. We have cabbages. Yes, good. Those are a few examples of vegetables that we have. So I know that you have seen several examples of food crops. And we have said that food crops are classified or divided into five groups. Number one, we have cereals. Number two, we have legumes. Number three, we have tubers. Number four, we have fruits. Number five, we have vegetables. As we move up, we will learn later the importance of those groups what they provide our bodies with. That will be our next part. But for now, make sure that you can recall the examples that you have given out and the examples that you have written down in your books. So go through your notes, go through your textbooks and other supplementary books to look for more examples. I know that you are good pupils. Yes, yes, and I'll be coming to check. One of these fine days, nitatokea kwa hii screen ni kuja niangalie whatever you have written. Hama ni kuja saa hii, wacha kwanza ni marize. Yes, wacha kwanza ni marize. Then after this I come out. Yes, and check whether you have done whatever you have said. So good, those are some of the examples that you have said. And before I wind up, I want us to answer the following questions. Yes. 
So make sure that you answer the questions. And if possible, give me the feedback using that WhatsApp number on your screen. Yes, there is a number there. That is our WhatsApp number. Use it. Just write down whatever you you find out as your answers. You can take a picture and send through that WhatsApp number. Good. One of the questions. France, number one. Crops are crops are divided into two groups. Name them. Good. Number two. Name the five groups of food crops. Name the five groups of food crops and give four examples in each. And give four examples in each. Good. Good. I know that you are good people and you'll be able to answer those questions. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Take good care of yourselves and enjoy watching to my TV. Goodbye.